Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. In this tutorial we're going to discuss how to change your DPI and how to change your resolution. So it's going to be something very quick. What we're going to do is go ahead and do a right click on our desktop and again go to Personalize. And under here like we've discussed previously you can change different things like your Windows themes, you can change your background, color, sound, screen saver, you can make your own custom theme. But we'll, the option that we want under here is display. So let's go ahead on the bottom left of our window, do a left click on display, and that's going to take us to our display options. Within here, we can actually change our, our DPI on our screen, and what, what that does is you can make text and other items on your desktop bigger by choosing one of the options. So by default, it's on 100%, so that's small. But you can do a medium option, a larger option, and you can even do a custom option. That custom option is just going to be here, where it says custom sizing options and it's set to 100 percent right now but as you can see in our previous window we have a medium of 125 percent a larger of 150 percent but with the custom you can do it even larger all the way it looks like all the way up to about 200 percent but you can do anything in between also so you can do like a 133 percent uh, a 105 percent you know 175 percent whatever you want to do but let's go ahead and give that a try let's right now just so you can see what this does let's make it at 150 percent so let's go ahead and change that to 150 percent no let's do a custom one let's do it about 175 percent so you can really see the difference once we do that just hit OK and we're gonna have to go ahead and click apply to apply the changes so once we do that um, we'll be right back and we'll be able to see because once you hit apply it's gonna have you sign out of Windows so we'll go ahead and just do the uh, sign out now option and once we do that we're gonna come back and you're gonna see how much larger that the icons and everything is gonna become on the screen itself as you can see guys it did change it quite a bit so now we're you know our icons and our and our fonts and everything is quite a bit larger just like it said it would so let's go ahead and navigate back to personalize do a right click on the desktop and let's click on display and as you can see we have a custom of 175 percent so our DPI and everything on our screen is 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 at 175 percent so everything's a lot larger and you you would usually only want to do this if you have maybe trouble seeing or you have a relative who um, you know on the computer everything looks too small just go ahead and change the, D, the DPI for them and uh, like I said it, everything's gonna become a lot larger so a lot more uh, visible but what you can also do here besides changing that let's go ahead and maximize our window here we can also ad adjust our resolution so let's go ahead and click there and right now it's set to 1920 by 1080 the resolution recommended for uh, this monitor but you may have one that has a lower resolution or you may just want to change the resolution all in general let's go ahead and set it to something lower um, a 1280 by 1024 and let's go ahead and click apply and hit uh, keep these changes close this out as you can see everything on my screen just got a lot narrower um, so adjusting the resolution that's that's pretty much what it does you really want to keep your resolution set at the highest and whatever it recommends to whatever monitor that you're using some monitors have higher resolution than others this one right here is, is a 1080p monitor so we want to make sure to keep it at 10 1080p the what, what I recommend doing is changing that DPI option so you can make everything larger on your computer so let's go ahead and do a right click on desktop go to personalize go back to display adjust resolution on the left on the left hand side here and let's go ahead and set it back to 1920 by 1080 apply keep our changes and OK so as you can see everything fits very well with my monitor now but everything is still very large and if we go back to custom sizing options we can make it even larger if we wanted to so I just wanted to show you, you know, the, how to ch how to adjust the resolution within Windows 8, and also how to change the DPI within Windows 8, and that's under your display. Another way to get to here, of course, would be through Control Panel. So let's go ahead and do a double click on Control Panel. That option is going to be under Appearance and Personalization. Let's go ahead and do that. And if we do a click on Display, there it is. It's going to take us right back to the same place. And just like with almost everything with Windows, there's several different ways to get to the same place. So that is how you adjust your resolution and how to also set a custom DPI. But you can also use the magnifier if you're having even more trouble 
to kind of uh, you know see your way through through the screen. So, but you got to get used to using the magnifier. So that's another tool that magnifies everything on your screen. If you're still having trouble, even after adjusting the DPI on the screen itself. And one other thing to mention also, if we go under personalization here on the left-hand side, one of the themes that we can change it to, because uh, maybe the brightness for everything is is still too too much for your eyes. If we if we choose a high contrast theme, it may be easier to see it this way. So. So you may have to adjust your DPI to get everything larger, and you may even have to uh, set a high contrast theme. Uh, that way everything is more visible and more apparent, and you're able to see the icons and everything on your screen a lot better. So that's why the high, high contrast themes are there uh, in almost every version of Windows. Is for they're, they're a lot easier on your eyes. So if you're that type of person that just has vision problems, you may want to go with a high contrast theme, and you may want to adjust your DPI to get everything the way you like it. But that does conclude this tutorial. I do thank you guys for watching and I appreciate your time.